Probably keep one sap against Druid. Probably even want to keep an Eviscerate against Druid. I like double four drops a lot. The weird thing is, Eviscerate's not even the best. Actually, sap without minions. It's all about getting the minions out early. Eviscerate's not even the best. Like, what's the best is Deli Poison. It actually does more than Eviscerate. I'm gonna try just getting minions. Hopefully I get another Vi Teacher Shredder in the next two turns, which would be the best. But I'd take like any like three drop or less, that's a minion. Good night, Tomo. Kind of a weird play. I don't have a turn four follow up, but then if I didn't do this, I don't have any turn three either. So it's either like completely missing my turn three or potentially missing my turn four. I might be able to get a turn four off though. Depends on what he does. I have Sap and Deadly Poison. I think Ag Agro Pally is pretty decent. I'm not sure if people respect it or not, but I try to move it up more when I realize Agro Pally is pretty strong. I don't remember what other people put it as. I'm not sure like how much the Liquid Hearth ra ratings are delayed. They're not live, like they ask us a little bit before, maybe like one week delayed or something. Or like half a week, I don't know, like I don't remember. I think the newest one that we did is probably not on there yet. I need to see again. Seems pretty strong in the meta, but it's obviously not amazing either. There's just so many good decks, like even like the 10th best deck or the 15th best deck is actually pretty decent right now, so it's actually like weird, right? Because Just a lot of good decks right now. Gonna drop a load up here. here we go. I like dropping the load up turn six, I mean five, on his turn six rather than his turn seven. Because Druid has a lot of seven drops, but not a lot of six drop minions. There's like Sylvanas and Emperor, maybe even just Emperor and no Sylvanas. It's just like six is not a good number for them. As far as like minions go. So this is like a spell turn oftentimes on turn six. I have no time for games. I've prep. So I can prep sap and Drake still. I don't have enough mana. What? We should trade. I'm getting kind of low. If we just race, I do five, he deals three every turn. I'm getting close to combo range, and I'm not sure if it's like allows him to trade a little bit easier. It kind of worked out, right? He could have wrath this and cycled the other way. I'm not sure. This is going to be some YOLO stuff coming from me soon. Yeah, it's going to be full on YOLO. I think. So I use both saps and he has Solanus. I'm just gonna all in. Like say if he Solanus here, I would still die a combo if he turned on combos me. Maybe I should have just gone face and made a dagger and just saved my sap. I still die a turn on combo most likely if he raced, but then if he drops Solanus I can sap that. But he gets a trade for my Drake with a Shredder. That's annoying. Worst thing here is shade for me. Wild growth. If I kill it, will I win? Still, I'm gonna do some really quick calculations. Attack, kill it, and I'll have eight. I need to do 15 damage, maybe 16 next turn to win. This is like five damage if I try to Drake. I can't. Yeah, I can't win like that. I'm just gonna have to die to combo. Wall of Growth, I don't know if that means he has combo more often or less often. Yeah, Wall of Growth 
from turn 8 to 10, 9 would have been enough to anyways to combo. And he could have like hit me in the face to 19, then if I trade I would still die a combo. Now it could mean he has Innervate combo, I don't know. I need Blade Flurry. Ooh! I'm not gonna get the combo for Tinkerel, unfortunately. Seems wrong to dagger up last turn over playing teacher though. Let's say I hit the combo, the teacher gains me three damage and two one ones anyways, and um I could have known that I'd draw blade for either. It doesn't clear he's dead or taunt. Probably keep one deadly poison against warrior. That should be my tool to kill like acolyte. Otherwise, I'm mostly going for four drops. Treader is the best one against warrior simply because it kind of like dodges the weapons. Sprint. I don't run Van Cleef because Clint doesn't run, run, run Van Cleef. I'm a net deck and robot. I'd if I had to run, I'd wait till Glenta runs him and see which card he takes out for him. That put that one in. I run heal bot because Glenta doesn't run heal bot. All right, this should be better still. The other one's way too weak to death bite and war axe. Okay, now I have two minions at once, which is pretty cool. This is what Shredder does to where, like it makes him take exponentially more damage as you start getting multiple minions down at the same time. I guess with this play I got lose a Harrison, but oh well. Attacking is too weird, I need to get in more like minion damage, so I need these daggers to trade for minions, like against Sledge Belcher and things like that. I can't just go face right now, and I needed it to proc combo, so. I wouldn't jump. I only copy his text. Fena is bad card against Warrior. I'm just gonna play it. It's not even Patron, it's Control Warrior. Wait a minute. Now I have another minion. I want to use these preps, so like, I guess I can't value prep very much here, value it that much, so anytime I can use it, I probably will, like if it's reasonable. Mind if I roll need? Ooh. It's reasonable here, it allows me to play Forest here in the same turn. I'm starting to go face, I have a lot of damage. With this Tinker Oil, I want to be able to go face here now, not save the weapon anymore. This is already 8 damage, so I'm really kind of threatening lethal already. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like I feel stressed recently, kind of. Oh, I actually didn't heal this, I was really thinking about whether to heal or not. I was like, I wasn't really thinking about XQ as, as much as, um, as Baron Geddon. Here we go. 
This is an important turn, see what he does here. If you can remove this 6-2 easily without attacking with a weapon. Uh, Alex here doesn't really do anything, I think. Heals for 5, but I have... Uh, actually, it would save him. But he can just like, armor up or shield main anyways, have be more armor. I have 14 damage on board. I can suicide the 1-1 one -one to get another card, too. Oh, it's Patron. Interesting. Oh, I did see Loot Hoarder, huh? For some reason I got confused, like shield block, I just wasn't even thinking about it anymore. Nice sprint, it's a good one. I haven't drawn any flurries yet, I need one. So I'm not going to get any minion damage, obviously. They're all going to die to patrons. Or I might just be dead. No. Wait, death lethal? Oh, so close. Six. I'm off by one. Because I could deadly poison a six and just swing. Down to four. Wait, what? That's not off by one. As I was saying it out, I realized that's enough. So many options. Here we go. <laughs> Just attack him. Backstab's like one of the least efficient ways to deal with priest mains early, but it does allow me to deal with Norshar Clerk still with the weapon. I, I don't know if it's good or not. I'm gonna have fan next turn against priest, so I don't want to attack. Fan is just uh, not. Not a great card, just better to cycle it against priests. Is someone injured? I don't mind sharing the title with Masan. What's the worst that can go here? Like, what's the worst that can happen here if I don't backstab? Because I don't want to have a... It's not really wasting backstab that I'm worried about, but I'm wasting the... Like, getting my weapon down to one. So, say Velen's chosen. 3-7? That's bad. Then I don't get the Drake backstab either. I'm just gonna backstab. Here we go. There's also other things that can go wrong, which is like something like Blade Master plus Circle. Although th those are kind of bad reads because he played Cleric on turn three, right? So if he actually had Blade Master Circle, I would think that he just played on turn four, like North Shore Blade Master Circle all in one turn. Not sure, but the Velen's Chosen one makes sense. No one's gonna like play the North Shore and Villains Chosen the same turn without attacking. It's so weak to sap and stuff. Is I'm glad I killed Lee. We've drawn a lot of cards here. I think he has a circle, that means. He could have drawn like six cards. Or even eight cards. I guess it doesn't matter at that point. There's not enough cards for that, but. He only got three here. Stop the card roll. I don't mind leaving up the Pyromancer here with the uh, with the Lothab. I guess it's still decent because he can play a spell, but I mean that's not that bad. It's like one random zero mana spell. Can't play a circle here. He can play a coin here, I guess, for five mana, and then. This is a very, very easy matchup generally. It's like the reason why Priest has never been top tier class, even though um, Priest like crushes a lot of popular decks like Zoo and Hunter. And like Priest like crushes like board control based decks, but it's always been really bad against this deck and Handlock. Surprised they didn't hero power first. 
I guess it makes sense. Just save it for after. Does it make sense? It worked out though, for sure. I'm not sure if it makes sense actually thinking more about it. He could have killed the Shredder first and then killed, guaranteed the kill on whatever comes out. With two Shredders it makes more sense than one because you can choose the 3-2 to snipe. But like other things can come out like 4-4s four four and 3-4-3s, four, four 2-3s and stuff. I have 14 damage here. Ooh, backstab. Oh wow, those are good cards. I was playing double sapping, but now maybe it's still better double sap. If he replays those minions, I can blood flurry. It's like because I can like backstab fan the emperor, but the I'll still leave up a four five. At, and that'll kill a minion. Also, it's really efficient to sap the injured blade master because it comes back as a 4-3, not 4-7. See, this is 5 mana, 7 mana, 9 mana, so I can combo next turn for lethal. Do you like to play with fire? <sighs> Hope he doesn't have a powered shield. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Really good. It's a little bit awkward now with Tinker Oil, like uh, it's not reliable to hit. I can still mostly hit it though, because I can play this, play this to proc combo. It's... Actually I'm going for it no matter what, right? There's no situation where I ever don't do this. I'm not even going to count for lethal first. Let's see what happens, let's count after. 8 damage here, 10, 18. 18? Wow. Here we go. I'm ready to if I had one more mana, I could read dagger and re and re blade flurry, but I'm off by one mana for that. Kind of makes sense to play around Light Bomb. He's already used two circles, so there's no more Alcanide to play around. Light Bomb doesn't actually clear my board either. I should, I don't know. Makes sense either way. Probably makes more sense to hold, hold in my hand. Actually, it makes more sense to play it. Because of Pyromancer, maybe. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage here. I'm ready to I need to eviscerate or something. This is going to be a hard matchup. Backstab is really good though. Prep, I'm not sure. I almost feel like I should always keep prep in every single matchup, but I can't be too sure about it. So what cards am I trying to prep? Prep Sprint is not good in this matchup. Um, prep Fan is really good, but that's only one card, huh? I guess I'm dropping prep, and I want to go for 
SI, backstab SI, Farseers. Well played. Put this apple on your head. I do have um prep of this, and oh, no, I don't have it with straight. I need it though. That's kind of weird. I guess I'm gonna have to play first here on, against nothing. Wait a minute. Like this? Kind of makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That would get a safe backstab. Otherwise, I would backstab first, probably. The pain. So it's mid range. Sap is going to be good against high mains. Taking too much damage though. So I prep sprint. That costs 4 mana. Uh, so yeah, prep sprint. Actually, it's okay. It's safer than um, the Drake. Because the Drake means I have to draw. Eviscerate or Sap in one card. This way I have more cards. Since I have second prep, I can prep Sap or prep Eviscerate. I don't know if that's right to do that attack. I want to set up for Blade Flurry though with a new weapon, but I didn't need to do it this turn, so. <laughs> this guy's tough. This is my next turn's all in for me. I can't survive for two turns anymore. I have to kill next turn pretty much. Unless I bait out like like, say he plays a high man, now I don't have a sap. Say he plays dark boom, that's not even a great sap target to begin with. So, it's like, my next turn is definitely key. I have 7 damage on board, need to do, like, 8, 9 damage to kill him. Guess I'm not gonna kill him, but his turn wasn't that strong. He didn't play a high man or boom. Might still be able to pull this out. Let's see what I get. If I had both deadlies, I could have attacked. Just double deadly, kill the sludge belcher first, but. I need my guy alive. He can kill it with this guy. It's important to attack first because taunts can come out. Eviscerate is good. Actually, spells are good in Rogue Mirror. Pretty good. Backstab is probably the weaker one, though. I don't know, they're all good. Everything is good in Rogue Mirror. <laughs> because their minions are worth a lot. It's kind of like against Tempo Mage in a way where you just need to kill every minion. I think it's too much to keep him backstab too. I think one of the important things in this matchup is to try not to play Lothal on turn 5 because there's a lot of 5 drops. So if you put Loth on turn 5, they counter you with Azure Drake or even their own Lothab. It's like, it's better to play Lothab late game, but Groga's so spell based. If you can play around like turn 7 or 8, it's so good. Those are like really important spell turns. 
loot hoarder. I don't know if that means that's like, like can cancer rogue or something. I don't know. Like a what's the name? Backspace rogue. Here we go. It means I'm gonna save my fan though. I wonder if I play Sasiko face because he already played Deli Poison. I feel like it's only alright, probably not even good. Oh, getting multiple hits, probably more decent than I thought then. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn. Here we go. It worked out, but I'm not sure if it's all as good. Like whether it's good in the long run. I see Shredder, Lou Hoarder. It could be just like he's running random Lou Hoarder in a normal rogue, or it could be like the Cola Oracle Arcane Golem, really aggro one. Oh, wait, face. Okay, that makes sense. He's basically gonna blade for next turn. I need to make a move that doesn't involve playing Badger Drake. Remaking my dagger here. At this point, I have twelve life. I don't like the, having a three attack dagger to kill minions. Isn't isn't that good? My hand is really good though. If I can survive, I actually did get the fan, so I still developed my board a little bit more, just in case I was thinking of like not even playing blood fire here. Pretty painful. Eight damage, ten damage, fifteen damage. Hmm. If I had more, like if that was enough, I would have gone face and left up the one one here. But I don't have enough, even if I went face. Hope I don't die this turn. Kind of hard though, with the Lothab turn. Lothab was safer than. Force here puts on more pressure too. Nah, it, it was Arcane Golem back. It's, that's a really bad matchup then. Like, it's probably the worst, one of the worst matchups. Just a Collette Oracle. I mean, this kind of rogue against Control Rogue, basically. <laughs> 